Have you ever wondered how to be grateful for all conditions? Through this meditation, you can learn to have gratitude within. I really hope you enjoy this. My name is Lauren, and I am so excited to share with you about this meditation method. It has truly changed my life, and I know it is going to change yours too. Due to this pandemic, there has been much confusion in the world. You may have wondered, what is happening in the world right now? Why are we living this way? Also, deeper questions like, where do people go after they die? Or is this the end of the world? These deep questions may have come up during this difficult time. But as much as one tries to find and obtain the answers to these deep questions about life, it is not easy. Also, how can one know for sure that one's thoughts are actually correct? Luckily, with our meditation method, you can learn how to cleanse your mind in order to find your true self, which knows all. You can get to know naturally what is true and false, right and wrong, and how to live properly with wisdom. You see, from a very young age, I had these deep questions about life and death come up very often. My mother suffers with multiple sclerosis, and my father also had a heart attack when I was in first grade. So from a young age, I had these deep questions about life and death come up very often. And as much as I tried to get the answers to these deep questions about life, I couldn't find them. Also, due to my previous job as a nurse, I saw the fragility and the fertility of human life and how fleeting it really is. You can be here one day and then you can be gone the next. So we're not really promised life. But luckily, with our meditation method, you can find your true eternal self. Let me explain. So maybe you have heard that the universe exists within you. We're just going to represent the universe as a circle here. Or maybe you've heard God, Buddha, Allah exists within you. It all ultimately means the same thing. This existence existed forever before, even exists now. It will continue to exist forever after. This is also your true self. So what my meditation guides taught me when I started was people do not have the universe in their mind currently because this body operates the same way a camera does. Everything one sees, smells, says, hears, and feels sensationally and emotionally all gets imprinted into one's brain as a picture. So people have been living thinking that they're living in the world, but actually they're living inside of an overlapping copy of it. So if everything came out from the universe here, the stars came out, the sun, right, the moon, the earth, and even people, only people are not living in the world, but living inside of the mind world, which completely overlaps the real world. So that's why people think that they're living in the world, but actually they're living inside of this overlapping copy. So for example, if you can bring up a lemon in your mind, please do so. Okay, now please take a bite out of that lemon. Maybe some of you will start to salivate, but is that lemon that you bit into in your mind a real lemon? It's not, right? So are the pictures that come up, the images that come up from our hometown, elementary school, middle school, high school, college, work life, family life, are they real or no? No, right? Maybe your family members are sitting with you right now. Those are your real family members. But the pictures that we have inside of our mind are actually not real. So if we pull this over, people are living inside of this world here and not living as one with the world or one with the universe. So I worked diligently for 10 years in order to eliminate my karma, habits, and body. The karma are all the thoughts, my life lived, and then the habits and body. It's all inside of the mind world. So when you throw it all away, that is when you can enlighten to the universe. So after I discarded all of my karma, habits, and body, all my curiosities, all my questions about life were answered at that time. 
There was no stress. There was no anxiety. It was just my true self. And I got to know the principles of the world, where people come from, why we live, where we go after we die. And after giving uh, meditation lectures for some time, I had a lot of similar questions come up. So one of the questions was, how can I find the universe in my mind? So when you throw away the false self that is living inside of the false world, your mind goes back to the universe, your true self. At this time, you can see the universe, but you have to cleanse away what is covering this universe. Then you'll be able to find it. You can also be born from there. So really living in the true world. This is also heaven and paradise. So another question that came up very often was, how can I live in heaven while I'm still alive. So people live according to what they have imprinted in their mind. But when you throw away what is covering your true self, this is also heaven and paradise, then you can live in heaven while you're still alive. We actually have to find this existence while we're still alive. We have to become it. So many people think that they're going to heaven after they die. But when we think about it, if this body just dies, what we currently are thinking, we would not even be able to think that thought anymore because there is no more function to the brain. We have to become this existence while we're still alive. Only a person who has become this existence while they're still alive will be able to live in heaven and paradise. So when you throw away what is false and illusionary, your mind becomes true. You can live in the true world. You can live in heaven and paradise while you're still alive. And if we think about it, um, technology has advanced a lot. So we have Siri and Alexa now, right? But maybe 30 something years ago, 50 something years ago, even that concept would be so foreign, right? But actually it exists in the world. So what exists in the world can be utilized. This meditation exists in the world in order for people to find the universe, God, Buddha, Allah within to live eternally, to know where people come from, why we live, and where we go after we die. This is an unbelievable opportunity that you met. You are so lucky that you came across this video. Please take advantage of this right now and get started today. Gratitude. People do not know how to be grateful for being born into and living in this world because they live trapped in their own mind. Since people live according to their greed, they live continuously complaining. But people's blessings are founded in a grateful and generous mind. As people with that mind find that everything flows well and so they can succeed. When people are grateful for every single thing in their life, they will live a truly happy life. Though they try, People cannot be grateful because their mind is negative and they do not have gratitude within. People can only have gratitude when they change their negative mind to a positive mind. When they cast off their negative mind, which is their false mind, only the grateful mind remains. Through this meditation, I learned how to have gratitude within. After throwing away all the false mind and recovering the true mind, only gratitude remained. There is a way we can have gratitude within us, always. Thank you for listening.